Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts, and I want to talk about grains and insulin resistance. Now, insulin resistance, what it is, is it means that insulin, the hormone insulin, when it gets, when it gets released, that insulin, when it's in those receptor sites that are on the cell membranes, that they can't easily allow the glucose or the sugar into the cells to make those sugar useful so that that sugar can be turned into energy. Now, this can happen for a number of different reasons from having a diet that has high amounts of sugar and it can also be from a diet where we have lots of stressors in our system that activates that HPA access and increases the cortisol in our system, which increases our insulin levels and can lead to that insulin resistance picture. And it can also be from taking in toxic loads that can injure those insulin receptors in our body. Now, the other contributing factor to insulin resistance can actually be grains. And the reason for this is that grains, when we consume grains, easily turn to sugars within our body. So then, the same as us consuming a large amount of sugar in our diet, when we consume a large amount of grains in our diet, we end up with a high amount of sugar in our blood, and then we are asking a lot of that pancreas to release a lot of that insulin to try to help to bring those sugar levels down in our blood and help to move that sugar into our cells so that our cells can make that sugar useful and make that into ATP. But often when our diets are filled with high amounts of sugar as well as high amounts of grains and the challenge is, is that sometimes we could have cut out sugar, but our diet still has high amounts of grains in it. And when we have those high amounts of grains, those high amounts of grains in the diet can actually be contributing to an insulin resistance picture. So this is the connection between consuming grains, so that's your bread, your pasta, your pastries, which a lot of people are consuming, like our cereals for breakfast, and having a sandwich for lunch, and having some sort of bread or pasta for dinner. And when we're consuming these grains, this can be a contributing factor to an insulin resistant picture. I hope that all makes sense to you and you're able to put that connection together and understand how grains can be contributing to an insulin resistant picture. Thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to share this with your friends and family, to press the like button, to make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.